Imagine for a moment that you're a professional mathematician. You've just made some amazing new discovery. Let's say you've discovered some unusual formula that's true for all numbers. Filled with excitement, you call up one of your mathematician friends. Hey Fred, guess what I just discovered? You go on to explain your formula to your friend. Well, he pauses and says, how do you know it's true? You say, well, I tried it for the number one, and the number two, and the number three, and it seemed to work, so I'm pretty sure it works for all numbers. Now, do you think Fred would find that convincing? Would he trust the formula based on that explanation? No, of course not. There's still plenty of numbers, an infinite number of numbers, in fact, that you haven't tried yet. Now, this is basically what mathematicians do all day. They explore abstract models, discover amazing new truths, and then they want to go tell their friends about their discoveries. But if they can't convince their friends that what they've discovered is true, it's probably not much use. Because of this, mathematicians have spent a lot of time thinking about the question of what makes an explanation convincing. A totally airtight explanation is called a proof. 